excited to talk to Chief Darren Rizzi right now. Of course, she is the chair, the new chair of the Human Relations Committee, hailing from Canada. Now, congratulations on becoming the new chair of the Human Relations Committee. I want to know, what are you looking forward to the most when it comes to going in as your first year as chair. Thank you for that. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to create a greater awareness across North America in regards to the HRC committee and what we can do to help fire chiefs in the uh, North American Fire Service. So how we're going to do that, we're creating up a social, social media account and then that will provide links to the website and to, to toolkits, to resources that are already located on the IFC website. So the committee is looking for short term wins. Mm -hmm. So we have identified some initiatives. Some will be longer term over a three year period, but we're looking to see some short term wins in the next few months to create some awareness, to get some information out there. Sure. Well, how do you envision what has prepared you for this role? Your background, essentially, and your experience uh, helping you influence the leadership of this committee? Absolutely. So my background, I'm a PhD student in women, gender, and feminist studies. Okay. So in terms of um, social issues, I'm, I'm definitely an advocate in the community. I'm an advocate in the fire service community. Um, in Canada, I'm working on advancing women in the fire service, and that can be expanded into diversity and inclusion efforts throughout North America. What do you think, are, this is a, a weighty question here, you know, it, it's tough to answer this really quickly, but what do you think are some of the most important issues in the fire service right now surrounding the topic of human relations? I think what we're doing right now is we're doing a lot of talk, but a lot of our efforts, a lot of our programming really needs to get down to the grassroots staff. The, the, the boots on the ground, our firefighters in the fire hall, and ensure that these programs are impacting and influencing their behavior. Our firefighters want to come into a fire service that they're proud of. Mm -hmm. They want to wear shirts of departments that they're proud of. And we as leaders need to create a culture that our firefighters are going into those fire stations, into those firehouses, and are proud of their fire service and the community that they're serving. Yeah, makes sense. One thing I wanted to touch on before we wrap up is getting your opinion on this. Do you have any idea on what initiatives your committee, the Human Relations Committee, might take on during your time as chair? Absolutely. So we had a diversity summit in which we identified all of the different initiatives that we wanted to work on. And then we worked through a process of prioritizing those initiatives to come up with our top three initiatives. We will be presenting those ideas to our stakeholder groups before we identify how we're going to develop the programming and okay. the rollout. Mm -hmm. But the three initiatives are identifying and highlighting best practices for building and sustaining inclusive organizations training and education initiatives, and collaborating with stakeholder groups on topics about diversity and inclusion. So those will be the three main things that we'll be working on over the next few years. Great to know. I'm sure you have a lot on your plate that's just touching on what you're going to be dealing with the next year. Congratulations once again for being the new chair, and thanks so much for making time for us, Chief Rizzi. Thank you for having me. Of course.